Hello everyone. June the 12th, which makes it Superman Day. How very appropriate. Um, I hope you're all well. I'm fine. I'm, I'm still here. We're all still in a sort of lockdown, aren't we? Um, certainly it's been about 10 weeks and I know it's been very difficult for a lot of you and I do hope that you're getting through this. It will get better. They keep telling me that and we've got to hold on to that. Um, as you know, uh, many of you know, my dear mum, who's nearly 99, is in a care home now. And I haven't been able to see her for 11 weeks. And that's been very, very difficult. Uh, so I do understand where many of you are coming from. It's awful to be separated from your loved ones. Um, but I do know that she's safe and that's the important thing. Anyway, Superman. Uh, I've had the wonderful opportunity to speak to some of the fans uh, last Saturday. I did a Superman in the house con. In other words, a sort of Zoom thing where I was able to talk to the fans and they were able to talk to me. How brilliant is that? And I want to thank Cool Waters Productions for arranging it and especially Derek, because I know it was a lot of effort went into it. And they're doing one every weekend with different groups of actors. I think this weekend, I, I want to say it's alien, but you can check it out. But thank you again, Cool Waters. Um, it was fun to do and it was great to meet so many of you and to have you there. And the other thing is this. Now, how lucky am I to have this? And how lucky are you to have it? Because thanks to Kate Wonder, this came out of his private collection. He's given it to me and given me permission to do a limited edition. So I'm sharing it with you all. And that of course can be found on my shop. And I'm thrilled with it. I keep looking at it because it was such, it, it evokes such a happy time. You know, we were all laughing and chatting and I was, I was reading Newsweek. Um, I think I was reading about, I don't know whether it was Al Pacino or Robert De Niro, but I do know that thanks to Jim Bowers, I have that magazine in my possession. So, um, it's great. I'm, I'm delighted with it. So thank you. And you too can have it if you go online and buy it, basically. But if you don't buy it and you don't want to spend your money, I will quite understand because you've got me here and I'm basically for free. And when I can, I'm going to get to another convention and I will get out and meet you all. As I said before, these are very difficult times. And um, I just wanted to, to tell you about a wonderful company that I've been working for called Wonky Bot Studios. They do podcasts amongst lots of things. And I've been working on something called Tara Tremendous, which is very exciting and a lot of fun. And um, hopefully some of you will be tuning into that podcast. I know you can find it on Apple and different places. But what I really wanted to tell you about, which I think is brilliant, is they've done special podcasts of a, a family of owls called the Owlsteins. And these are uplifting, wonderful, positive messages, particularly aimed at kids and children who are perhaps a bit worried and a bit scared about what's going on because there is a lot going on, isn't there? I mean, we're having, you know, diseases and mayhem and fighting and lying and awful things being said all over the place. And kids are very sensitive. And this is a lovely podcast. And it's just basically to convince children that it will be all right. And I have to let you into a little secret. I lay in bed the other night having a big worry and I listened to it and it worked for me. So maybe it will work for you. So check it out. The Owl Steens, a little bunch of owls. Lovely story. And from Wonky Bot Studios. So I'm going to sign off now, um, sending you all love. Uh, we haven't forgotten Falcon Crest. Poor Eli is up to his neck in my very bad bits of recordings, but I'm sure he'll make some sense of it sometime soon. And uh, hopefully we'll all be getting back to normal in the very near future. Love to you all. And you are all very much appreciated. And what about my hair? Look at this. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to have it all cut off. I've got to get to the hairdressers. It's getting a bit scary. Scaring myself. See ya.